Isn't that amazing that this little piece of fiberglass right here is worth about $200,000 because that's what makes the 1963 Corvette so special. These cars have been the most desirable Corvettes. Uh, they continue to rise in value. They're just an unbeatable uh, investment. Now I've got this uh, ribbon here. It's not for my uh, uh, chili recipe either. This is a top flight award-winning car. It's a 1963 Corvette split window. It's been body off frame, nut and bolt restored to factory specs, number matched throughout. The motor has been verified by Al Grenning. We have his certificate saying that that's the number match motor. Factory colors. Vintage air was carefully added to this car. All the original parts to put it back 100% go with the car. Uh, we have something really, really special here. It's a beautiful car, beautiful colors. Uh, great, uh, desirable investment uh, piece. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information, study all the pictures top to bottom. That's where you'll find a price tag on every car we have, along with a monthly finance option. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next video is posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this car has got a lot going for it. We acquired it from a collection of about 50 cars down in Georgia, really high-end cars. I've been looking at this car for over a year. We finally acquired it. Um, <clears throat> it has some owner history. Uh, Terry McCallis from Pro Team Corvette owned this car at one time, and he only deals in genuine high-end, uh, real-deal Corvettes. Um, again, we have the judging sheets, we have the certificate for the NCRS Top Flight Award, we have the ribbon, we have the Al Grenning uh, certification on the engine numbers, uh, it has the NCRS shipping uh, report, so it comes with all sorts of documentation. You can rest assured when you buy this, you're buying the real car. So the body was off the frame. Imagine the whole chassis was just completely taken apart restored, rebuilt, detailed, put back together. They even put assembly line markings back, uh, all the suspension, steering, everything rebuilt, all the components. It's independent suspension in the back. 63 was the first year of independent front and rear suspension. You know, first year for this all new design. Drum brakes at all four wheels. This has the optional metallic uh, brake pads. It was an option. Uh, fiberglass floors are raw fiberglass. That's the way it's supposed to be. They're nice and clean. They're not damaged. It has the complete spare tire carrier in the back. Um, <clears throat> you look up at the motor, it's spotless Chevy orange. It has the lower ignition shielding around the plug wires. It has the correct canister screw-on oil filter. Uh, it has the correct starter. It's all restored with the proper numbers and dates on it has the VIN number matching T10 four-speed transmission, uh, also restored. It looks beautiful. The linkage, everything under there was completely restored. Rebuilt drive shaft. It has its original 355 Posi rear end, you know, dated properly to this car. Uh, E-brake cables are all hooked up. It has the correct dual exhaust system with the slash cut polished tips going out through the lower valance. Uh, so, yeah, really, really nice underneath. The body appears to be in excellent shape. Uh, factory Daytona blue, the trim tag under the dash that gives the paint codes, that's been authenticated as original. The headlights line up nice and square. They're fiberglass. I think 63 was 
fiberglass, then they went to metal in the following years. So they are correct. They line up nice. The hood fits really nice. It's all straight, all clean. Up underneath here, the inside fender lip is nice and clean. I can feel the bonding strip on the back side. All real nice. Now these doors, they have to fit all the way around. And uh, they fit really well on this car. Shut like a new car. Roof is excellent. <clears throat> it's all looking good. And again, like I said earlier, right here, that's what does it. They eliminated that because it does block your vision to some degree. So it was a one year only. It's all looking really good, all real nice. This is all in excellent shape. All fits real nice, nice and clean. Fender lip, shuts like new. So the body is in excellent shape. The Daytona Blue is actually a metal flake. When the light hits it, you can see it sparkle. And it's polished smooth and glossy. There's some minor imperfections from age. Mild cracking, like right in here, some stress cracks in the paint. Not in the body. There's not body work showing, just some mild cracking in the paint. Someone walks up on the car, they're not going to see it, but there are a few areas like that. I don't really see much in the way of chips. There's one small one that's touched up. It's a hairline crack right here, probably from pushing down and locking the hood. Some hairline cracking right in this area here. So these cookie sheets, they're in excellent shape. This is 63 only. Cross flags look like new. The bumpers, the grill, everything up here lines up nice and straight. It's all shiny and nice. Emblems real nice. Windshields crystal clear. It has an original marking. I didn't actually date code it, but uh, that is an authentic marking. All the stainless is polished. Any chrome was replaced. There's another hairline crack right here. The glass is in really good shape. Just delaminating just right along the edge a little bit. Gas cap uh, looks to be excellent. Bumpers, tail lights, all this is mint. Correct antenna is real nice. Has the bow tie mirror. And it's sitting on reproduction. I think they're Firestone tires. Deluxe Champion Firestone tires are the correct white wall, uh, like poly glass or whatever they were back then. And the correct spinner hubcaps. They're a stainless steel cap with chrome spinners and they're in mint condition. So that's the beautiful outside. Let's show you the beautiful inside. Well, obviously there's no trunk to show you, but uh, there is plenty of room behind the seats to store a couple things. Door jams are done real nice. Weather strips are all soft. Door panels are in mint condition. A little chrome knobs. One of those you twist and it locks the car. The armrests, window cranks, all of that's mint. Sill plates are shiny. This is all in mint condition, has the uh, cone shape in the middle of the gauges. I think that was 63 only. 78,000 miles, that's actual miles. 6,500 red line, that's because it's a higher horsepower engine. Uh, quartz movement in the clock, everything's working. The radio plays crystal clear. The dash pads, all this is mint. 63 only had like a laminate. A glove box store. They were brushed aluminum after that. This is the original or correct door in excellent shape. Inside here is in excellent shape. These are instructions how to use the vintage air. They use the original controls and then you have two neatly installed vents, one on each side, and that's how factory air would have looked. So the carpet is mint front to back. It has the correct floor mats. They're in mint condition. Now, there's pictures of this stuff on our website, but the ribbon, the manuals, sales literature, uh, the engine number certification, the top light award with the judging sheets, uh, all this will go with. There's some owner documentation, ownership history. Center consoles mint, correct four speed lockout shifter, steering wheels mint. Now, my favorite part. These seats, they are soft uh, as a baby bottom, genuine soft leather. That's what it was born with. The leather armrest in the middle. It does have the original seat belts. 
Now behind the seat, this is all real nice, wrapped in leather. And then all the carpet and back is all in place, real nice, cut real nice. It has the jack stowed down in the compartment like it's supposed to. And the headliner and the trim and interior lights and visors and mirror and everything inside this car is mint. I don't think I see a flaw on the interior of this car. Really nice. My father was selling these cars back in the early 70s when they were used cars, and we've been selling them ever since, and they've never, ever gone backwards in value. So again, number match, verified, 340 horsepower, 327 motor. Uh, the 340 horse has a hotter cam and, and probably bigger valves. I'm sure there's work in the heads. Genuine GM aluminum intake and correct carb. It comes with the thinned valve covers, the correct air cleaner, correct ignition shielding. Anyone know why they have metal shielding on a Corvette? You can leave your uh, guesses in the replies. But every component, the master cylinder, the hood latch mechanisms, alternator, it's all excellent. Now see how far down that belt sits in the pulley? Those are called deep groove pulleys because this is a solid lifter, high revving engine. And they don't want the belts to fly off. GM hoses and clamps and the right radiator and fan. Uh, correct dated expansion tank over here. Spring clamp battery cables. There is a disconnect switch back there. Now this right here is the modern heat and air conditioning system, uh, which is a, a plus in my opinion. Uh, definitely be appreciated if you're driving the car, but it can be put back 100% original. Uh, if someone ever decided to one day. It's a very nice motor compartment. Well, not only is this the famous, legendary 1963 split window, and obviously has gorgeous colors, a great motor. I love that the air is added to it. So all that's great, frame off restored. But you can buy this, and you can rest assured it's the real deal. It's certified. It's verified. It's investment-grade car. So go to volocars.com. Talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your driveway. They'll help you finance it at volocars.com. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next great car is posted. Thanks for watching.